doing blah blah October because October is my birthday month. It's October 29th. If any of you guys are wondering, I'm gonna be 22 years old, and your girl is way too excited about it because it's my Taylor Swift year, and I'm feeling 22. I'm feeling 22. <laughs> Jay and today I am here with my October TBR. I tried to pick books that were kind of like spooky or like thriller books because you know like Halloween so like makes sense to read those kind of books now. Also like I just really like thriller books so it seemed like the perfect match. I have a total of five books that I'm going to try to read this month. I don't know how well that's gonna go because school is picking up now, midterms are coming up so your girl gotta get her study on so we'll see how it goes. But without further ado let us get started. So the first book was one that I have been anticipating since September when it released so I found it at Costco and I was like I need it. I need it now, so I bought it. <laughs> it is Friend Request by Laura Marshall. The book follows a woman named Louise who became best friends with someone named Maria in 1989. The thing is, Maria ended up dying, and that's when Louise receives a Facebook friend request in 2016 from Maria. So things aren't adding up, but Louise realizes that if the truth about what happened to Maria comes out, her whole life may be on the line and she may lose everything. So in order to keep her secret, Louise accepts the friend request and is trying to figure out the truth about who is pretending to be Maria or what this person actually knows about what happened that night. So like, sounds so good, I'm so excited to read it, like I need to know what the heck is going on. So this is definitely the first book I'm going to pick up because like, so excited. The second book that I have is actually like one that is kind of funny in my opinion. I'm kind of really excited to read it just to see like what the heck it's all about. It is My Favorite Fangs by Alan Goldsher. And this has been on my shelf for like over two or three years. Basically this is a retelling of The Sound of Music but Maria is a vampire and she turns all of the Von Trapp children into vampires and then she marries Von Trapp and then the Nazis are threatening her little Von Trapp children, so she decides to eliminate all the Nazis. <laughs> like, it sounds like it's gonna be really funny, but like, in a way that it's not supposed to be funny, but I feel like it's gonna be a rant review book, so I'm really excited about it. Is that bad? I feel like it might be bad. The next book is The Book of You by Claire Kendall, and honestly, I don't really know that much about this book, but I've heard it be compared to You by Caroline Kepneys, and I absolutely loved that book so I'm hoping that it is like it. I know that it follows a stalker and that's basically all I know. So I'm excited about it. And I want to know if she dies. Is that bad? I feel like that's bad. The next book is The Enemy by Charlie Higgins. This is another book that has been on my shelf for like three years and I just have not gotten into it so Figured October is the perfect time. It looks pretty spooky. Basically it follows a disease which causes the people over 16 to become like zombies and so the children who are not affected are hiding from the adults who are trying to eat them and it's basically that journey. So I don't know if it's gonna be good but I feel like it's gonna be a thriller so you know your girl usually enjoys thrillers so we're hoping it's a good time. And also the pages are black so I feel like this is a good halloween -y read even if it's not. The pages are black, so that's my justification. And the final book that I am going to attempt to read this month in October is A House of Dark Shadows by Robert Liparulo. If you've seen my videos from when I like first started booktube, I always enjoy saying Liparulo. This book follows 15-year-old Xander who moves from LA to an old Victorian house. His friends David and Toria discover these rooms in the house that are basically like time travel vessels so like i'm kind of intrigued also kind of confused also like it looks like it's halloweeny but then it's talking about like portals leading to far off places in long ago times so you know i don't know where this book is gonna go but it looks Halloween-y, so that's my justification for it being in October, okay? It makes sense. 
kind of hoping it's another rant review video because I really like rant reviewing because I just get so heated. And you guys seem to like rant review videos, so my plan is to just keep going through the books that have been on my shelf for over two years because that seems to be the ones that end up being rant reviews. All right, guys, so that was my October TBR video. Don't know if all these books are going to be read, but your girl can hope. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!